Hey, how about it, Tai Chi player? Welcome to Riverside Tai Chi. I'm C from Jesse Powell, coming to you from the heart of New York City. We're going to work on some Wu style form today. We're going to go from brush knee twist step up to single whip. Check it out. Okay, Tai Chi player. So as always, before I get started, um, I always take my supplements just to make sure my joints are in good shape. All right, now we're ready to roll. Let's go. Okay folks, so as you know, I always start out with a warm-up, the Qigong set. One of my favorite Qigong sets is the eight Qigong exercises. I think this is a great warm-up. I really love this Qigong set. This Qigong set builds up power for fighting as well as improving body mechanics. And you can really feel how it builds energy inside your body. This Qigong set has many, many benefits. Of course, I'm not gonna show you the whole set because it will make the video really, really long. Just check out what we have here for now. If you're familiar with this Qigong set, then you'll know that the exercises that are being shown in the video are the Warlord Tosses the Cauldron, and green dragon rolling in the water. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, my people, we're into the form segment of the yeah. workout. Uh. I'm working on brush knee, twist step, up to the second single whip. This is one of the many important sections of the form. The moves are repeated a lot in this section. I've always been taught that whenever moves are repeated a lot, it means the technique is being emphasized because it's effective and important. The main move that's repeated in this section is brush knee twist step. It's done several times, which tells you that there are a lot of applications for brush knee twist step. The other technique that is repeated from previous sections is grasp Sparrow's tail. Brush knee is good for a lot of throws 
you can catch a kick, throw the person down, and walk over them and stomp on their head. That's one of the applications that I learned. Are you listening? Grasp Sparrow's tail is kind of elusive to a lot of people. One technique that I was taught for Grasp Sparrow's tail is that it's a wrist break. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that. You're going to have to see where that could take place and experiment on your own. But believe me, it works because I've done it. This move right here is very devastating. Alright folks, thanks for watching. I um, hope you liked that segment. Um, you know, you could always feel free to follow along if you, if you know Wu style or if you don't know Wu style and you'd like to learn it, you can just follow along and uh, hope it helps you out. Um, if you like this shirt, link is in description. Train smart, train well. Talk to you soon.